A train's whistle is emitting sound of frequency 5 hertz. Uh, this is called the source frequency. As it moves with the speed of the source 20. It moves toward a stationary observer and then it passed the observer. So there's two stages. Oh, be, be a bit careful here. Your human is here. The train moves this way. Then the train passed the observer. What's the difference in the frequency heard by the observer? That's what we call observer frequency. Before and after when the train has passed the observer. For Doppler effect, there is one equation. It's written in the data formula sheet at the first page of every exam question. So we can say that that is F0 or F observer over the speed of the source equals to speed of sound, speed of sound plus minus the speed of the source. How fast is your train moving? How do you know when to use positive or negative? If the train is moving towards or the source of sound, you know, this one, this train will make the sound ma. moving towards you, then that is when you will use negative. If the train is moving away from you, okay, this is not, this is a whistle. La. I don't know how to make whistle sound. Beep. Then that is when you use in positive. Away. Let's do two calculations then. The first part is when you're moving, the train is moving towards you. Observer frequency is going to be over 500. Speed of sound given to us, 330 over 330. No, 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 minus. Minus 20 millimeter per second, which is how fast this train is moving. Okay. Let's find F observer. So I press calculator. Give me a second. Huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 532 hertz. Do again for part two when it's moving away. So when you're moving away from me, F observer over source frequency, what is actually being created by the train, speed of sound, speed of sound, but now you plus the speed of source. This F0. I calculate. Ah. Give me a moment. Ah. Times 500. Oh, 471 hertz. Mm, you hear the difference? I mean, you hear the difference. <laughs> you see the difference? 532 when it's coming towards you, 471 when it's going away from you. I guess you could hear the difference. So I could do something like this. The train is coming towards me. It's like... Uh, sounds what sharper, right? Higher pitch. Oh, Beep! and it goes away. Eee! You can try that in the car. You just go stand by the roadside and hear a car that horn. So we need to find the difference or the change in frequency. You just need to take five, three, two. Just take the bigger one minus the smaller one. This will give sixty-one hertz. Best choice, D. Most important thing of Doppler effect is know when to use positive, negative. Equation is there already in the data formula sheet. You just need to know which sign to use. Okay? And read carefully, you're finding the difference. Alright, that's all for this question.